Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I know, another set down video, which really sucks. I have an excuse this time. Um, first off, let me start out by saying I am so sorry that I have not posted in almost a week and we didn't do a live stream. Life has been really, really, really hectic for us. As you guys know, I'm having to sell out here and move in with my father to take care of him. Um, if you want to catch up on that, you can go back, look at some past videos. Um, so we have been really, really, really hectic. We're trying to get all this done by about August the 17th ish. Uh, that's when school starts. And since Ricky, my oldest son is over there taking care of dad right now. And Colton is here with me when he's here, it's going to be too hard for me to get up of a morning, get Colton ready and go over there and wake Ricky up and get Ricky ready and still be able to get Colton ready here. Um, it's just going to be too much. So that's our goal. Are we going to meet it? Probably not, but we're trying very hard. So some of the things, if you guys have watched my past videos, you know that we had to have a huge yard sale because I basically have to get rid of everything I own. I'm going to be moving into a shed to house tiny home. So we did that. So this past weekend, um, we had a yard sale. Today being Tuesday. So we had a yard sale Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a little bit Sunday. So we got rid of well, at first we did. At first we made good money, but we wasn't getting rid of any big items. We was getting rid of all the smalls, which I know it all adds up and helps. You know, whether they're small items or big items, they all take up room. Uh, and I wasn't out to make the money. I was out to get rid of items. So that was probably Thursday and Friday. We just, we made decent money. We just didn't get rid of any big items. And then Saturday, we got rid of a lot of big items. And then Sunday, we got rid of a lot of big items. I think the only two big items that we didn't get rid of yet was a long dresser and this kind of a, I'm not really what you call, not sure. It, it's, you put it in a closet, or if you don't have a closet, this can become your closet. It's metal, and it's racks, and you can make it different ways, and hang clothes, and stack clothes. Um, but uh, once again, it can fold down into hardly nothing, or comes apart, I guess. So we did that. We still have about a quarter of a garage full of stuff, and that is just what we could grab quickly. You know, I've not grabbed anything from here yet, um, you know, at my home. And we still have a lot of stuff over there to get rid of. We still have a whole back room full of stuff. But all the big furniture pretty much is gone. Although I do have a desk i got to get out there the next time. We are going to have another yard sale. Not this coming up weekend. And maybe not next week. About a month from now, I think we're going to have one more yard sale. And hopefully that will get rid of everything. Um, so some other things on a quick list that I'm sorry, I don't have time to film, but they just need to get done. Uh, one of them is bringing the shed to house up on, a, uh, on pylons, foundations, piers, whatever you want to call them, bricks, basically. Um, we're halfway there. We worked on it yesterday. We run out of daylight, unfortunately. Um, we're going up two full blocks. So what is that, 18 inch, I think? Uh, we're halfway there, so we're nine inches up. We run into a few little problems. I'm kind of glad I wasn't filming it because it, it would just show how um, uneducated we are on doing stuff like this. Never claimed to be a professional at jacking buildings up and putting blocks under them. And, but we got it. Uh, had a little bit of trouble, but we managed to get through it. It's just me and Ricky doing it. Um, so I got to get that finished up. 
And that leads me to why we're doing a sit down talk. We have a really, really, really bad storm out there right now. Right now it's just rain and there's no thunder or lightning. But all night last night and all day today, it has just hammered us with rain. We're under severe flood warning, all that good stuff. You guys remember the blue thing that I put up, uh, the little awning thing for last holiday out in the back, I put a TV up there and everything. Well, it twisted. So it's no longer any good. So I got to get out there and deal with that. But so that's why, you know, I would love to take you guys out and show you that. I would love to take and show you the shed to house being raised up one block high now. I would love to go and show you what's left of the yard sale. But it's just absolutely pouring down rain, and I'm not getting out in it. So, some of the things that we've got to do that you probably won't see too much on filming. And the main reason there's not a whole lot of filming is, for one, we're in a hurry. And filming takes a long time. And for two, not everybody wants to be on film right now. It's hot. It's miserable. People are grumpy. I'm grumpy sometimes. I'm confused because I don't know exactly what I'm doing when I'm trying to do some of this stuff. So it's just easier to get it done. Now, once we push through these couple things, then we'll get some good filming done. I promise you that. So, like I said, if it stops raining, it's 2 o'clock right now. If it stops raining by 6, 7 o'clock this evening, I might be able to sneak over there, depends on how wet the ground still is, and get this building up the rest of the way, or maybe even some more. I don't know. I'm probably thinking not. And it's supposed to rain all week. So, I don't know when that's going to happen. And then, the upstairs of the shed to house, the boys' lofts on each end and in the center, <coughs> still need to be insulated and walls put up. Well, I'm not so sure my health is back to good enough to do that yet. So instead of pushing it, I've talked to Ricky today. I've hired him to do all the insulation work. So he's going to go up there and basically you can't stand up in the loft. You know, it's only maybe four foot tall, maybe taller than that. I don't know. But so Ricky's going to insulate it for me. I've already got all the insulation and everything. Uh, then I think Ricky and Ian, you guys should remember Ian from the shed to, or no, I'm sorry, not shed to, the dumpy trailer behind me. Uh, I have not asked Ian yet, so he's probably going to watch his video and say, hey, wait a minute, I didn't agree to that. But maybe I can hire him and Ricky both to work together to get the walls up up there. The rest of it is just like texturing, um, painting, flooring, and stuff. I think I'm, I'm, I'm far enough along in my recovery to be able to do that. I'm pretty sure. Now I do have to get up there before Ricky starts insulating. I guess I could do it after he insulates, but I have to finish the electric upstairs or actually even start the electric upstairs. Not that big of a deal. I know I can handle that. Sorry. I keep bumping the the computer desk here and the camera keeps going like this. So anyways, I mean, that's what it is. Um, once we get past these hurdles, then I promise you I'll, I'll get back to regular filming. It's just right now with being under a time crunch, uh, I'm so far behind right now. I don't think I can see daylight at least for the rest of the year. Um, not only do I get to get, get that place finished, I got to get the inside of dad's place finished. Also, I have to get some organization in all the buildings and storage and stuff. And I also have to get this place ready to sell. So I don't, and somewhere in there, I need to squeeze in rehab for me. Uh, basically guys go back and watch. My heart was at 20%. After my heart attacks, my heart is still at 20%. Uh, I'm active. I feel great. Just I get wore out really, really, really easy. I can get wore out just walking to the restroom. So I've got to get in there and push my heart above and beyond 
to build the muscle because that's, you know, your heart's your biggest muscle. And I have to build it up. So I've got to squeeze that in. Plus, we've got dad with his medical problems. And I'm the one that's having to take him to the doctor and to the hospitals and, you know, all of that. So I'm not whining, not complaining. I'm thanking God I'm still here. Thanking God that I'm able to take care of all this stuff. It's just, I found out that right now I can't do it on my own. So I'm having to depend on my family. Uh, and are we going to meet our deadline? Maybe, but probably not. But we'll make it to where we can do it. Um, and just please forgive me for the lack of videos coming out. Because we have just been absolutely swamped with, I mean, it's just everybody's running here and there. And it's, boy, did you like that? Look at my, my little effects there. Well, that, that's fancy. I don't care who you are right there. That's fancy. But anyways, um, everybody's just been running around basically like a chicken with their head cut off. We just got so much to do and so little time to do it. I have to be a father. I have to raise my children. I have to take care of getting rid of this place and getting this place buttoned up and get all my stuff packed and everything. I have to take care of my father. I have to take care of all his doctor's appointments, the hospitals and everything. I have, like, I just got back from grocery shopping for him. I figured that was something I could do in the rain. Um, and of course, Ricky had to unload the car in the rain. But, you know, we're, I'm being spread really thin right now. So please, just bear with me. Uh, I know I promised you guys I'd start the podcast soon. I just don't have time. I'm sorry. I'll get to it. It's a dream that I'm going to do. I'm going to accomplish it. I'm going to fulfill it. But just maybe not right this second. So let me get the water lines and the sewage lines done. I don't even know if I mentioned that yet. That's another thing that I have to get done soon. Uh, let me get this building up in the air where it goes, which I have to do before I can do the water lines, sewage lines. Let me get the upstairs insulated and wall board up. And then I'll get on a good routine and you guys will get to watch us texture it. You'll get to watch us change some things around. Uh, you know, everything in my life's changed, so it's going to have to change to meet all that. So you'll get to watch all that and it's going to be several months worth. And then of course, I'm still going to go completely off grid eventually. Yes, I know. You're just talking about digging water and sewage lines, but you're going to be off grid. Well, off grid ish. Um, I'm not going to go out there and dig a septic when I've got sewage right there that I can tap into. So water. Yes, I do plan on doing a rain catchment system, which is going to be basically I'm going to make a manifold where I can cut off the well water and turn on the rain catchment system. And work through that, but I've still got the option to turn on the well if the rain catchment doesn't keep up or something. And I'm still going to do, I think I come up with 16 panels I can put on the top. Uh, I don't know why I'm pointing up here. I'm in my home right now. Uh, I'm talking about over there. But yeah, I am. I'm going to go completely solar. And I'm going to go to completely rainwater catchment, but I'm going to have backups if none of this works. I know maybe a lot of you is going to call that cheating. You know, if we run across like this week's all going to be, you know, cloudy. So if my solar doesn't keep up, then all I got to do is flip a switch and I've got regular on grid. Uh, if my water system can't keep up through rain catchment, I've got my well. So, but we're still going to do the whole off-grid thing. So I've got to prepare for that before the, the upstairs walls go in. And there's just a lot of prep that has to go. 
Should I not do all of that and just focus on getting in there and taking care of my dad? Yes, but I'll regret it later on if I don't do it now. So, anyways, enough rambling. You guys are got to be tired of this setting and talking stuff. I know I am. I'll get you guys out there and give you some updates. Maybe once a week, we'll kind of do like a walk around. And the other videos are either not going to exist or might have to be some setting videos. We'll get out of this pretty quick. I promise you that. Anyways, with all that being said, hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. And if you guys want, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe and comment down below. You know, all that good stuff. But anyways, please, please, please be safe. And we'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. Have a great day.